In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the upper profile of a top-rated Shopify developer. So far, his profile is not bad, but there's definitely a few tweaks that he can make to get more exposure, more visibility on his profile, and also hopefully convert more people into clients as they view the profile and it impresses them to the point of wanting to invite him to a job. So again, this is a good example of a profile that doesn't need a total overhaul. It doesn't need a massive revamp start over kind of situation. It just needs a few tweaks and that will make a difference. So as usual, we're gonna start from the top down, starting with the most important part of your profile, which is the job title. Some freelancers don't realize how important your job title is in Upwork's algorithm pushing your profile to the top of search results and also clients wanting to click on your profile. So let's take a look. So far, he's got a few things here. Shopify, developer, separation line, landing page, speed optimization, SEO. So he's pulled out a few different keywords here that I can tell you his target client does use in job posts. Speed optimization, SEO. Optimization is spelled correctly for being in the UK, so that's fine. And if he wants to maybe appeal to US clients, he could change that to a Z. Uh, it's not absolutely necessary. Um, but if he wants to portray himself as a UK freelancer, then that's fine. Um, starting out with Shopify developer is the best way to really start this job title because that is the way that most of this target client starts their job posts by Shopify development. Now, uh, landing page as a singular thing is a little odd. I would suggest um, maybe landing page design or if it's more the development side and you're less on the design side, landing pages is more of a micro-specific uh, deliverable that you give as part of your Shopify development. Um, most of the site has landing pages as part of the whole strategy, as part of the website. So specifying landing page in the job title may be a little too much. Um, having it down in your about description is probably a better way to go. But if you want to make this one of your core services, if you want to be known as a really good landing page designer, then maybe that can be in here as landing page designer, um, landing page specialist, um, just to make an emphasis there. But if that's just a kind of a part of what you do just by default, but it's not something you're trying to make is your main thing, I wouldn't put it in your job title. Uh, speed optimization, um, also something that maybe isn't necessary for a, uh, a job title, but more so listed as a bullet point in your about description. Okay, we're gonna do a quick job search here for Shopify developer. Okay, and just see what shows up. Okay, Shopify expert, um, Metafield, Shopify store designer, marketing expert, product research, Shopify app developer, theme customization. Yeah, if you're going through the first couple of pages and you're not seeing speed optimization as a, as a specific job post, um, because there might be times where clients, you know, they want to hire freelancers just to come in and optimize the speed and it's a quick one-off project. But again, that can be something you offer as a service that maybe you have a fixed rate for to optimize a website's speed, um, depending on after you scope it out, because it'll depend. I wouldn't have just a single fixed rate for every situation, but modifying pages, fixing problems. This is really something that you know, is just included in the fact that you're a Shopify developer. Yeah, um, so speed optimization landing page, kind of the same situation of try to determine whether uh, that is something you wanna have in your job title as something that you offer as one of your primary services. I think having one of these landing pages, speed optimization or SEO, uh, again, SEO is kind of a, SEO is more of a given too that if you're gonna be a good developer, and you are actually creating all the copy for the web pages, then having that SE, having that understanding of SEO can be important. But then you're also, in, so you have to kind of think about, okay, are you pitching yourself as a writer um, as well as a developer? Are you gonna be writing the copy for all the web pages or just developing the design? 
Um, that probably needs to be more clear in your job title and then focus on just those things. If speed optimization really is a big thing that you feel like you can do a very quick turnkey service, it's something that where you know maybe it's easy money to be able to do these quick projects of speed optimization, but the client's willing to pay for it. Then yeah, having that in their job title might if you if in your experience you've found that there have been jobs focused on just that, then maybe having that in your job title is fine. I just think having all three of these is starting to get a little too much. So go through and think about what your focus is and. Um, what you want to be selling as a primary service, put that in your job title. Don't put secondary bullet points in your services as part of your job title. A specialized exclusive event. So yeah, let's move on to the, but yeah, I think it's fine that you start with Shopify developer, have some kind of colon or separator and then picking one of these, but you know, landing page, I would say landing page designer, landing page optimization, or then speed optimization, um, you know, kind of pick one in there. I specialize exclusively on Shopify development, which allows me to provide. Um, so this is really part of the same sentence. So I wouldn't separate that into two different sentences. You wouldn't really start a sentence with which, um, but you could have this combined with this sentence as part of the first paragraph. I specialize exclusively on Shopify development comma, which allows me to provide our clients with unmatched insights and results. Let's work together to achieve your next business goal. So an important thing here is don't just say next business goal, say what the goal is of the target client that you're going after. What is their, what is their main goal behind hiring you as a Shopify developer? Um, is it website traffic? Is it conversions? Is it get to know your target client a little more and put some of their top goals as in here instead of just saying your next business goal because it shows that you're just speaking a little too broadly instead of directly to your target client and being really specific um 100 job success score 100 guarantee to boost your conversion rate i'd be careful with any kind of 100 guarantees um there's no way for you to guarantee that your development of their shopify website will boost their conversion rates I would never guarantee a result like that. You can guarantee that you'll deliver something in a certain amount of time, um, that you'll make sure that they get a certain amount of pages created. You can't guarantee the result of the conversion rate will go up, but you can list examples of, because if you're going to give that guarantee, I'm going to assume that so far with all the clients you've worked with, that every single one of them have had their conversion rates go up as a result of the Shopify websites you've developed. If that's the case, highlight an example. Here's an example of a success story from this client in which we boosted their conversion rates by 30% once I revamped their Shopify website. Um, pull in that example and then let the client interpret that how they want to regarding whether they think you'll be able to achieve that for them. Don't jump right to you putting in the words of I'm guaranteeing this result. Instead, pull out examples of successes and then the client can interpret how they want to interpret that. You can get in trouble having these kind of guarantees like that. And you can have a higher um, failure rate in clients not being satisfied with your service because they were expecting that result. 100% responsive design for better SEO rankings. Like, yeah, that's something you can promise, right? 100% money back guarantee. I don't think I'd put that in your profile about description because now you're basically guaranteeing giving them a refund for any, uh, unconditionally, um, for any reason whatsoever. Um, I offer money back guarantees selectively to specific clients in proposals where I feel like there's reasons why I have to mitigate the risk that maybe because of the situation of the job post, there's a higher risk in hiring me for that job. I'm gonna mitigate that risk by offering a guarantee if they're not satisfied. And I usually just word it in a way where I say, hey, I'm gonna keep working on this until you're satisfied. Um, and I'm not gonna stop on that, you know? And then I don't even promise the uh, refund, I just promise the satisfaction guarantee. Meaning I will keep working at this until you're satisfied. Even if it means I walk away with almost no money per hour that I spent. <laughs> But I won't guarantee, especially in my upward profile or ever in a proposal, 
a money back guarantee. Um, that's more something you approach on a case by case basis. So I would take that out. You don't need to repeat job success scores at the very top of your profile. So that's just redundantly taking up space there. Since your site reflects your business, I understand how important it is for you to not only look good, but function well too. As your Shopify developer, I will make sure it does both. Um, just look at the grammar a little bit on this. It's a little hard to read on these two sentences. Um, since your site reflects your business, you know, you know, since your site is a, uh, is a reflection of your business mission of your businesses, you know, something else in there. I understand how important it is for it to not only look good, maybe use a word like attractive. Good is an overused word that doesn't have a lot of power behind it, um, but function optimally, you know, put, pull in some other adjectives that are a little uh, punchier sounding than just well to and good. Um, as your Shopify developer, I'll make sure it does both. Um, and that's fine. I would maybe combine this into one sentence though. As your Shopify developer, I will make sure that your website not only looks attractive, but functions optimally as well. You know, something like that, instead of having these both sentences there. Um, what I can do for you. That's, you know, that's a fine header for a section here. Exceptional design and setup, setup and configuration, create unique theme customization. So this is good. This is typically with the, with the developer, you want to list the various technical skills that you have within website development in case they're looking for specific things here that they want done and they want, they want to make sure you can do that. Okay, the next section is why me? So Shopify is all we do and we've mastered it. So now you're saying we, You've been talking about it just being you, but now you're saying we, or you're operating as an agency. You're going to cause confusion here if they think that you're working as a team, but you're only offering this as a singular service. So I would put I if you're not offering this service as an agency with a team of people. We'll provide you with 100% free consultation to access, to assess your needs. Contest us now. That's fine. You'll be, so you're talking about your process and what you offer as part of the process. That's fine. You'll be 100% satisfied or your money will be refunded. Again, I wouldn't guarantee you in your upper profile. I would talk about that in a case to case basis as you submit proposals. You will receive daily updates on progress. You know, that's good. I'll train you personally. Uh, there will be no upfront charges. Okay, you know, good features associated with your service. Next steps, if you'd like to start a, you know, that's good. It's a good organization overall of like, you know, the features, the, the specific technical skills you have, why me, then what the next steps are in working with you. Uh, free consultation, great, you know, a way to end it of, hey, that's a, that's where we can start with that free consultation. Um, again, you're using we, so you need to add some clarity here as whether this is you and another person or just you. Um, and yeah, make sure you're honest about that. And then, you know, you have a way to book a consultation, so that's good. Portfolio. Um, yeah, absolutely need a variety of examples of websites you've developed. There's nothing more important than that when being a web website developer. If any of you are beginner website developers, um, you need to create a website just for your own purposes. Maybe it's your website for your business or so that maybe it's actually, you know, if you're gonna spend the time doing it, create a website you might actually use. Um, but if not, then just create a website just for the heck of it. So you have something to put in your portfolio to prove that you have that skill. It doesn't need to be from a paid client, but you know, this is a good variety here. So if you want me to review your profile, click the link below to sign up for a freelance family man membership, because with that membership program, I will do a review like this for you. And as part of the program, I'll provide follow-up support from my review in case you have any questions, in case you need further clarity. And we also do a group coaching call once a month. And there's tons of course training material that you'll have access to as well if you become a member. It's only $59 a month. You get a ton of value for as little as possible because I know how hard it is to afford additional training when you're just getting started as a freelancer. Um, there's also some other courses you can check out in the link below uh, to revamp your upper profile yourself. And if this is helpful to you, let me know. If you have any questions about Upwork or freelancing in general, uh, feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time.